Hello everyone. Today is Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. ECOWAS planning extraordinary summit on Mali next Sunday. Commission. This article is taken from ANI. ANI, in case you didn't know, is an Indian uh, newspaper, international newspaper. The Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, will hold an extraordinary summit on Mali on January 9th, the ECOWAS Commission informs. An extraordinary summit on Mali will be held on Sunday, January 9th, 2022 in Accra, Republic of Ghana, Jean-Claude Kasi Bru, uh, the president of the ECOWAS Commission, Sputnik citing commission statement reported. According to the release, Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado, president of Ghana and current ECOWAS chairman, has instructed a mediator to travel to Mali's capital, Bamako, on January 5th. Akufo Ado had received a draft election schedule from the Malian delegation. Malian Foreign Minister Abdullaye Diop announced in November that presidential and parliamentary elections initially scheduled for early 2020 in Mali would be postponed due to the volatile security situation across the country. Mali has experienced two military coups in the past two years. In August 2020, a group of Malian soldiers started a mutiny at the Kati military base near Bamako. Insurgents kidnapped several ministers and high-ranking military officials, including then-President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, who later dissolved the government and parliament. In September 2020, the parties agreed on a transition period that would last for 18 months, leading to parliamentary elections. Ba Nda, a former defense minister, was appointed as interim president. However, in late May 2021, Mali saw its second coup as then Vice President Asimi Goita ousted the new president and prime minister for allegedly violating the transitional charter. He was appointed as interim president by the Constitutional Court and announced that presidential and parliamentary elections would be held in 2022, in February, uh, I believe. ECOWAS, West Africa's main political and economic bloc, has been pressing Mali to respect its commitment to hold presidential and legislative elections in February 2022. However, according to French media reports, the transition process in Mali could take up to five years to complete. And I did an article on this in the last two days. And I said, if it takes five years, and I really hope it shouldn't, I mean, that it will not, and I know that it shouldn't, uh, to, for Mali, to the Malian military, hopefully. I, of course, they're, they're talking about uh, having Wagner Group, the Russian comp, uh, security firm, come in and help. They have the French there. They have the... Uh, UN mission there, they have the EU there, uh, and everybody and their, their mother there, and which I said uh, is wrong. They need to get rid of the Europeans. Uh, the, uh, you know, but there was talk, you know, I mean, the, the Russians said if the French leave, you know, the, European, the, the, the Europeans leave, then it uh, can cause problems. So, um, you know, I, I think for the time being, <clears throat> since they, they, they're already headed in that direction, maybe to go with the Russian uh, security firm Wagner Group, uh, which has had success in Central African Republic. Uh, I mean, you know, as they say, uh, anything's an improvement. Uh, um, but the, the ultimate uh, solution is an African military solution. And uh, I, I already talked about that ad nauseum. I think ECOWAS should go and send in all of its 400,000 plus active duty troops to the Sahel and secure it. I, I think that's the, uh, and keep it, keep it secure. And I, I, I'm sure from my military experience, it would take no more than six months to 12 months to do. But that's a story for another day. But as, uh, as regards this, article and the potential for Goita to uh, Colonel Goita to be uh, 
in charge of the junta for another five years before um, democratic elections. So be it if that's how long it takes for, for him to bring, uh, he, he and his uh, 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 junta to bring um, security to, to his country because to, to have uh, uh, elections uh, when you have a, 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 an insurgency that's going on and there's so much instability, it, to me, it, it just doesn't make sense. And uh, the Malian people, I don't, they don't seem to be complaining about this. And you, you must remember the reason why uh, the junta took over. The, the uh, public was protesting the, the uh, uh, sitting president for not being able to uh, defeat the insurgency. So uh, I don't see what ECOWAS is, why it's calling this emergency summit.